uh, finish right here. Have you guys ever had one of those days when there was nothing to do and you're bored? It happens, right? And what do you guys do when you're bored? You go up to your mom and dad, and you say, Mom, Dad, there's nothing to do. But see, mom and dad, they're brilliant because they went to the University of Parenthood. Yeah. Lasted right around nine months, right, parents? Pretty quick. And at that university, they learned how to answer every one of your questions. So when you guys come up to them and say, Mom, Dad, there's nothing to do, they look you right in the eyes and say, Mow the lawn, paint the house, wash the dishes! Get back and clean that room again. Well, back in the old and olden times, back before there was such a thing as TV. <gasps> Believe it or not, there was a time before TV. A time before DVDs and PSPs and Xboxes. And back then, kids had to use their imaginations a lot more. And something that got their imaginations going was the circus. And when the circus came to town, it'd be amazing. There'd be lions and tigers and bears and people with high trapeze. There'd be jugglers and magicians and acrobats and everything a kid's heart desired. But then, the circus would leave. And everybody would be sad. Everybody? Aww. <laughs> but one little kid had a great idea. That was my father. His idea is, hey, why can't I have my own circus in my own backyard? And that's exactly what he did. He went out and got together with a bunch of friends like we did today, found some old Halloween costumes, talked to his mom and dad, and put together the very first circus imagination. And that circus went something like this one. Ladies and jellybeans, welcome to the first show of circus imagination here at your 2012 California Midwinter Fair. Our first act is here. She is beautiful, and she has a magic feather in her hair. Can I please have a thunderous round of applause for the lovely Tina, the tightrope walker? Let's hear it for you. Very good. You look lovely today. Ever since Miss Tina here was a littler girl, she's had a big circus dream. And that dream is to join the circus, to climb the ladder, and walk the tightrope. And today, we're going to make that dream come true for you, right? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Go ahead and step right there in that little circle. I want you to stay right there. We're going to use our imaginations and climb a pretend ladder. So put one hand in the air like this and go back and forth with your hands. Very good. Keep on doing that until I tell you to stop. Yeah. Tina the Tiger Walker is now climbing the ladder to the incredible height of 100 feet in the air. Higher and higher she goes. Higher and higher she goes until everyone in the audience puts their hands over their eyes and watches her go up, up, up to the very top of the circus tent. All right, stop right there. You did perfect. Now to help get you across, we have the magic circus umbrella. Hold on to that, and hopefully you're not gonna fly away like Mary Poppins. And as soon as you hear the music, I want you to cross that rope all the way to the other side. And remember, don't fall. Ooh. Here's her music. In a second, there she goes, one foot in front of the other. You see the concentration in her eyes, the sweat beating off her forehead. She's almost there, can't she do it? Yes, I think she's done it! Excellent work, Miss Tina. But we got a little bit of a problem. And that problem is, we're a smaller circus. So we can only afford one ladder. And yep, you guessed it, it's at the other side. So in order to get Miss Tina back, we brought in a special guest. Yes, right here in Imperial, we have the lovely bear in the chair. Bear. But this isn't any old bear, you see. Because this bear here, this silly old bear, she's not wearing her seatbelt. Oh no! And you kids all know how important it is to wear your seatbelts, right? Yep, yeah, you got to. Every time you get in the car, it's important. Otherwise, you end up flying out and look like a squished bug on a windshield. And that's not fun. <laughs> all right, hold on to that with both hands. Good. Don't let the bear fall. She's a little nervous. As soon as you hear your music, cross back. There she goes, taking the type of walker and the bear in the chair, 100 feet in the air. Ooh, uh, yeah, yeah, she's done it. Look at that. Excellent work. Put both hands high in the air. And take a bow. Let's hear it for the lovely Tina, the tightrope walker. Very good job. We always love starting off with Tina because she gets us in the use of our imagination. She shows us what the circus is all about. Rather than actually climbing a real ladder 100 feet in the air, which would be extremely dangerous, and very hard to do under our tent, we used our imaginations and had just as much fun. But this next act could be a little bit dangerous. All the way from the jungles of the Amazon, 
Let's give it up for Mr. Marco, the Lion Tamer. Let's hear it for the Lion Tamer, yeah. Making his way to the stage. Yeah, that's you, dude. Come on up. Here he comes. Here's your tool of the trade. Hold on to that for me. Excellent. Come right over here. Now, Mr. Marco, I need you to look tired. So go like this. Look at me. And go like this. Go. Yeah, that's his tired. And you know why he's so tired? Because every day he gets up at 4 a.m. And what do you do at 4 a.m.? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, while you're busy sleeping, he's training wild animals. And you brought some wild animals here for us today, is that right? Yes. Awesome. I want you to walk right around there. Right around the corner. You're going to see those wild animals and then walk back. All right, now go ahead and leave those wild animals out here. Here we go. Our lion's first. Lion right over here for me. Very big lion. Okay, we have a giraffe. Let's bring the giraffe in right here. Our elephant right here. Very good. Our tiger looks a little lost. Tiger, follow your nose, follow your nose, follow your nose. There we go, right there. Another tiger right here. We have a crazy little monkey and another massive elephant. All right. And Marco right there for me. Wow. You've been working a lot really, uh, really hard here, Marco. So you say you've trained all these wild animals to do three tricks, is that right? Yeah. Let's have them do their first trick. Do you want them to get down on their knees and show us their claws? Yeah. Wild animals down on your knees, on your knees, on your knees, on your knees, and claws and paws and hooves in the air. And hands high in the air, up like that. Look at that trained wild animal. Let's hear it for them. Good training there, Marco. All right, let's have them do their next uh, trick. Tell them to roll over and play dead. Roll over and play dead. There goes one tiger and the elephant, and the lion's down and the giraffe right there. And then the elephant right here, right there. Find your spot right there. And the tigers are still having a cat fight. <laughs> Lay down. Lay down. Look at that train wild animal. All right, all the animals stand up for me. All the animals stand up. I want everybody to line up right over there next to Carol. Lion right over there. Right to your left, guys. Everybody to your left next to Carolina. Yeah, wait, yep, right over there. And Mr. Marco, stand right here for me. Now they're about to do their last trick, is that right? These wild animals will now attempt to jump through the dreaded hoop of fire. Okay, we're gonna start with the crazy monkey first. Here we go, the crazy monkey. Oh my goodness, you taught the monkey to speak! <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> he said it's too high, is that right? Yeah. And well, why is that right? Yeah. Right, to be safe. That's rule number one in our circuses. All right, the talking monkey first. Here he goes, Leapy through, yeah! yeah. All right, and now for our elephants. Elephant number one, that's you. There she goes, sizing it up, trunk through, perfect. Elephant number two, go. Charging, yes! Now for the, uh, the giraffe. Here she comes, lowering her neck, yes! And now for the bigger animals. We're gonna start with the tigers first. The slightly embarrassed tigers. <laughs> Ever seen a, a predator animal like a tiger be so embarrassed? Okay, maybe we'll start with the lions. Or the lion. Now lion, do remember, you have a really big head, okay? <laughs> Here we go. Our fearsome lion. Excellent work! Got a little nervous there. All right, and now finally the tigers. Here we go, tiger number one, go. Yes, and finally tiger number two. All the way through, perfect work. All the wild animals line up right here. Line up right there, Marco step forward. Everybody look at mom and dad or your teachers. Uh-oh, decapitated tigers. Put your hands and claws high in the air and take a bow. Let's hear it from Mr. Marco and his troop of wild animals. Everybody right on over to Carolina, and I want you guys to take off your shoes for me, okay? Head right on over to the blue tarp. Excellent work. Hey, Marco, high five, dude. Very good training. I'm gonna hold on to your whip, just to keep my insurance premiums down. And I want you guys to head over there. Boy, oh boy. All right, and now we've wound up to uh, one of the more beautiful acts in the circus. This act just came to us all the way from New York City. 
that he busted in over the past three days. Let's hear it for the beautiful, the lovely butterfly ballet. All my ballerinas, come on the stage. Let's hear it for us. Make your way up. Follow my hand, follow my hand, follow her. Everybody follow her. There you go. Follow my hand, 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 follow my hand. Now follow her and flap your wings, girls, flap those wings. Look at that, the beautiful butterfly though. Believe it or not, this only took a moment to choreograph. Alright, all the girls stop. Turn around and go that direction now. Changeover, yes! Now it's such a beautiful day out here, a little breezy, but the sun is out, the girls are dancing marvelously. I ask you, what possibly could go wrong on a day like this? What could happen? I have no idea. Oh no, it's a butterfly collector! Run away! Run this way! Run this way! Run that way! Run that way! Go! Go get them, but don't get them! <laughs> go, go! And there go the girls! Alright, parents, teachers. How tired do you want your kids? I can just let them go and go and go. Wait, who's chasing who? The ballerinas are after the clown now. Oh, he switched it up on them. Alright, everybody stop right here! Stop right here! Clown, right there for me! It's right over here! Oh, you're gonna just sit down, okay? All my ballerinas line up right here for me! Everybody look at your teachers and your friends and your parents put those wings high in the air! Put the wings and hands high in the air and take a bow. Let's hear it for the beautiful butterfly bow. Right? And Clarence the Clown. Awesome chasing there, Clown. All right, all my ballerinas have right on over. Carolina, right there. Excellent. Uh-oh. Someone got their wings clipped. All right. Carolina, right there. And hey, Mr. Clown, can you back up right over there for me? Cool. All right. We're winding down to our last few acts. Go ahead and sit down, guys. This next act comes to us all the way from Paris, France. They just flew into the uh, oh, the airport right across the street. Let's hear it for the beautiful, the lovely Champagne Sisters. Let's hear it for the ladies. Yeah. Ladies, right over here, please. Now these girls here are from Paris, France, so they don't speak a word of English. So I have to tell you exactly what they're going to be doing. This lovely young lady here will step on the end of this jump board. While this young lady here will climb to the very top of this ladder. She will turn around, step on my shoulders. We will walk out here, she will jump off my shoulders, do a double flip in the air, letting this part of the jump board, projecting this young lady She can do a triple backflip, and yes, land on that barrel right there. Ooh. Okay, go. No, 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 no. Wow, you're very trusting of your partner. <laughs> She's like, all right, I'm gonna go fly you now. <laughs> no, we wouldn't do that. What's rule number one in our circuses? Very good. So rather than flying young ladies, we have flying animals. Everyone's heard of the barrel monkeys? We have a bucket of monkeys. Hold on to that and back up for me a little bit. Right there, perfect. What we're going to attempt to do is place this monkey here on the end of that jump board. On the count of three, you jump high in the air with both feet, letting it square that board, projecting this monkey into the air, and yes, into the bucket, just like that. Ooh. Oh wait, I do need to translate this into French. So here we go, my French, because you see, they didn't understand anything that I just said in English. <laughs> okay. Monkey! Okay. Very good. Look at that, even teaching French at the circus. Here we go, monkey number one. Now wherever this monkey goes, you need to catch it in the bucket. So if monkey's over here, bucket is. Yes, and monkey's down here, bucket is. Very good. If monkey goes backwards, bucket needs to be. Yes, monkey bucket, monkey bucket. Whee! Now you remember, don't jump early. If you jump early, I get monkey in my face. And then I get monkey breath. I don't want monkey breath, okay? Got the giggle twins up here. Alright, here we go. Monkey number one. Wait. Monkey bucket, monkey bucket. We're gonna go ahead and start right about there. Where that monkey goes, you catch on the bucket. On the count of three, you jump with both feet. Let's square that board. Ready? One, two, three, jump! Yes, right in the bucket! Monkey number two. Ready? Boom, da, da. Two in a row! And finally, monkey number three. Now, monkey number three is gonna perform this same trick. But monkey number three is gonna perform this trick today. Face down, feet first. Ooh! 
Whatever you do, do not jump early on this one, because I'll end up at the other end of Monkey in my face, and that is the breath Ringmaster really does not want you to have. I don't really trust you out there. Okay, here we go. Monkey number three. Ready. Right out of the bucket, three in a row. Maybe step right there, right there for me. Face your audience, put both hands high in the air, and take a bow, the lovely Champagne Sister. All right, wound down to our last two acts. This next young lady just rode in all the way from El Paso, Texas. She came in on her steed early this morning. Let's give it up for the beautiful, the lovely, Miss Calamity Oakley, our cowgirl. Let's hear it for her, yeah. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Now, Miss Calamity, I heard you're a whip cracker, is that right? And you're here to do some whip tricks today, is that correct? Very good. Can I have you step right there on the edge of the carpet, turn around and face me? Now, uh, what Miss Calamity here is going to attempt to do... Oh, you got to have your whip first. There you go. Hold on to that. Now, do be careful. This is a real whip, so only whip when I sing, all right? So what Miss Calamity here is going to attempt to do is whip this piece of paper here in half. Now, this can be extremely dangerous, especially for me, as you all will soon see. difficult on you. Now you said you're a whip cracker, right? Hold up your whip. Folks, there is her whip. And believe it or not, right here before your very own eyes is the cracker! Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> whip cracker. <laughs> now that paper is two feet wide. This cracker is only one inch wide. This is going to take extreme precision and a lot of trust. Alright, same routine. Hold on to that whip. I'll stretch your hand all the way towards me. Just like that. Very good. Hold it behind you. On the count of three, bring that whip right down on the tiny cracker. Not the giant hand, little tiny cracker. Don't giggle, that messes with your aim. Ready? One. Okay, here we go. Ready? One. Two. Three. Whip. Yes, look at that whip. Awesome job. Miss Calamity, come step right over here next to me and hand me that whip. Take your hat in your hand like so, and take a bow. Give it up for the beautiful Kalami Oakley. Excellent work. Go down to seat on the blue team. All right, we've wound down to our finale act. This is the big act. This is the act everybody paid $20 to come see. You guys did pay your $20, right? Oh, look at you using your imagination. High five, dude. Now, we're actually brought to you by the County Fair. This is our first year being here. If you guys enjoy the concept of getting kids away from TVs, away from video games, and back out to real life, that's what this whole show's about, shoot an email over to the office, because that gets us back here next year. Now, this next young lady needs a thunderous round of applause, because this could be the very last time we ever see her again. All the way from Rome, Italy. Let's hear it for Miss Zazel. Thank you, right there, right there, yeah. Zazel, the human cannonball. Let's hear it for her, yeah. Right there for me. Goggles on. Goggles on over your eyes. Because remember, it's always safety first. Add on. Excellent. Now you are a human cannibal, is that right? And you're getting shot out of the cannon today, is that correct? All right, go. Stay right here. I'm going to bring your cannon on over and uh, tell you exactly how we're going to do this. All right. Okay. You guys might need to duck over there. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, Zazel, step right there. Now, this is how it's gonna work. On the count of three, I'm gonna grab you by the back of the shoulders, the back of the knees. I will lower you in the cannon. Then we will all count backwards from 10. We get to zero, we clap our hands, and yell bang. The louder we yell bang, the further Zazel, the Miss, uh, uh, Zazel, the human cannibal, will go. Now, is your mom or dad or a teacher here with you today? No, is there any responsible? Okay, right here, right there. Ma'am, is around if we take this beautiful young lady here, place her inside our cannon, and blast her away. Yes! <laughs> Must be a teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, we've been doing this show for 25 years. Never once, not once, have we had a family or a teacher say no. It's always, yes, take that precious child, 
put them in your cannon, which we have never seen before, and please blast them away. You find out a lot. All right, face the cannon just like that. Put your hands to your side like this. Make yourself as stiff as a board. On the count of three, I want you to lean backwards. Ready? One, two, three, lean backwards. Very good. Bend your knees. Okay, bye. What are we, whoa, what are we counting backwards from? Ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Thanks, she's up, she's out of the tent. Does anybody see her? Yes, she's already landed. She's right there. Miss Denzel, come on in. Come on in. Yep, she looks all right. Doesn't seem to have any burns or bruises. She's making her way through the crowd. We I need to part the crowd here a little bit so that she can get through. She's climbing over the straw bales. Yeah, it doesn't look like she uh, lost any of her limbs. Teachers helping her cross. Here she comes. Kids, go ahead and sit down. Kids, go ahead and sit down. Miss Zazel, step right there for me. Put both hands high in the air and take a bow. Give it up for the lovely Zazel, the human animal. How was your flight? Good, awesome. All right, head right around to the very back right there and relax in that private trailer. Now, kids, listen up. This is the most important part of the circus. Next time you guys have one of those days and there's nothing to do, don't go watch TV or play video games. That wastes your time, it wastes your imagination, and it wastes your intelligence. Go outside, get together with a bunch of friends like we did today. Find some old Halloween costumes, talk to your mom and dad, and you can create your very own circus imagination. We hope you enjoyed the show. We'll be back later today at 4.30. Let's hear it for the stars, yeah!